Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to graph linear equations utilizing the gradient and intercept method. Okay, um, again, recap. The format of a linear rule is y equals mx plus or minus c. c is your y-intercept and m is your gradient. Okay, so this gradient intercept method is utilizing these two values. You don't have to do anything further. All right, so I'm going to have these two examples y equals 2x minus 1, and my second example is going to be x plus 2y equals 6. All right. Uh, just because I like to do things in reverse, I'm going to start with that one before moving to that one there. Alright, uh, notice that this equation here does not fit the format of y equals mx plus or minus c. I need to isolate y first and to fit this format here. So let's do that. I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So I have 2y equals negative x plus 6. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I have y equals negative x over 2 plus 3. Okay. I can rewrite this equation here as y equals negative half times x plus 3. That's essentially what it is. Okay, so if you ever get confused uh, with that, it's just a half because there would be a um, 1 over there. So I'm just going to bring it to the front to make it, I guess, uh, represent it a little bit easier for you to understand. The y-intercept is going to be 3. Here's my y-intercept, and then negative half is my gradient, okay? So what I can do automatically is if, x is, uh, if 3 is my y-intercept and 3 is over here, I know that the line is going to cut across that point. I know also that the gradient here is a negative gradient, so I know it's going to go down. Okay, but how do we actually put this? How do we work out? Because we always need two points to join the dots to actually make our uh, just to graph our linear equation. So, what I'm going to do is take out this value of the gradient, our gradient is negative half. And from the previous video, that our gradient is also found by rise over run. Okay. By looking at this and looking at that formula, the top number is our rise and the bottom number is our run. Okay. Just to let you know that your run is always going to be positive because you're working from left to right. Your rise could be negative or it could be positive because that will determine if your line is going up or if your line is going down. Okay, so if you get confused of where to apply this negative symbol, just throw it onto the top. So we have our rise is equal to minus 1 and our run is equal to a 2. What we need to do is this is our starting point over here. We're going to utilize this starting point, our y-intercept, and we're going to count these many units going up, down, or left or right. So in this case here we're going to go down 1 because it's a negative number. So we're going to start here we're going to drop down one unit 
and then we're going to go across remember we're always working from left to right going to the right two units so down one and two across okay that will be our second point now it ends up working like a set of stairs if you keep going it's down one two across down one two across down one two across and so forth but I don't need to add all those extra steps once I've worked out my second one I can then confidently join those two together and there's my line okay so that's the first example of the grading intercept method here's our second one we're going to graph this one onto the same Cartesian plane and again what we have here minus 1 is my y-intercept okay so I can say that if it's a minus 1 this equation here is going to cut across the y-axis right there now what I need to do is work out the gradient So, my gradient, which is m, that is equal to 2. If we put this in fraction form, it's basically 2 over 1. So if you find that your gradient m is a whole number, always put it over 1. Okay. So my top number is my rise, and the bottom number is going to be my run rise is 2, run is 1. Okay, so just like before, we're going to start at this point. We're going to go up 2, because it's a positive number. So 1 and 2. And then we're going to go across to the right by 1 unit. So 1, 2 up, 1 across. And there's my second point. If we keep going, we go 1, 2 up, 1 across, 1, 2 up, 1 across, and so forth. But we only need to work out the second point. Use a ruler and jot the two points like so. Okay, so this is A and this is B. This is the line for A and this is the line for B. Hopefully that made sense for you guys. Um, yeah, enjoy your day, and I'll see you next time.